So, you want to see an actual OKP7 in, uh, in the flesh, here you go. There's one other, I think there's only one other video on YouTube, and thank you for bringing that, whoever your name is. I can't, I'm sorry, I don't remember it offhand, but I want more. I wanted more, so I bought one. Gentlemen, here's what you got. I know some of you are gonna wanna see this up close and I'm gonna do the best I can to get you some good up close shots of the OKP7. Um, this one happens to be an OKP77. The only difference being that it has two colors for the reticle and a switch on the top so you can switch between the two colors. Um, but basically it's the same thing. Uh, this has gotten really popular in video games lately, which I'm surprised because it is not a Western optic. It's very, very rare in the States these days. Um, it may get more prolific as, you know, the truth of how cool it is kind of grows uh, with stuff like this. But as of right now, there are only a few people I know that have these stateside. They are custom made, I'll say, to order. You go to a Russian website. There's one guy that makes them in Russia. You go to his website. Um, the way I did it is I went to his website, grabbed his email address, sent him an email, gave him the specs that I wanted on my OKP77, and he said, oh great, it'll be about four or five months. Coronavirus hit, things changed, it took forever, and actually uh, he was dead on. Um, it sat in Sharapova for like a month waiting to be delivered because of coronavirus, um, and it took I think right at five and a half months. Would have been about three months had our favorite little bug uh, not affected it, but what can you do? The one that I ordered here is a Picatinny mount. So you can see it uses a little adapter here that uh, puts it on the Picatinny rail. That means you have to source your own Picatinny rail, side mount, or top mount if you have a top mount. Um, to me, that worked better. When you do the side mount that's built into the optic, it tends to put the eye, the, the front of the optic, a little over to the left of the rifle instead of directly over the bore. So I figured with a really nice Western, this is a, um, uh, what is this, RS Regulate. This is an RS Regulate AK-303 bottom and then uh, AKR-0 MOA top. That's what I have it setting up on. Um, and a master mount. Uh, I think you guys saw me install a master mount. That's the master mount here. But with what we have here, this is a really nice option. These are really lightweight, so they're kind of skeletonized instead of being heavy sheet steel, they're aluminum. Um, and this gives you the option to, well, one, you can mount the optic anywhere on this rail, forward, backwards, anywhere. Plus, with the, the way RS Regulate sets it up, you can actually move this side to side to get you over the top of the bore a little bit better. So to me, this is kind of the best option. What did I order though? I got a 77. So that means that it comes with two different colors. I'll kind of roll that those pictures, and I took some pictures where you can see the uh, the reticle and the two different colors. You can pick between five different colors and I believe four different reticles. I picked kind of what I feel like is the most Russian of the reticles, which is the line with the arrow, very similar to a uh, Cobra, red dot. Um, and then I went with blue and red. I Red is uh, such a good color, it felt like a very good standard. Um, and then to kind of contrast green, I thought, because I, I mean, if I'm shooting here, it's gonna be in the woods maybe, hunting, I don't know. I figured blue would be another good offset. I found that the blue actually is a little bit harder on the eyes. That wavelength of blue, that LED blue, um, is hard to focus on. It makes it a little blurry, even if you have perfect vision, where the red is really sharp. Just something to take note. You may wanna go with a green or an orange or I don't know, some other color. But that being said, Here's how we have it. Um, I guess I'll show you functionality here on uh, battery on the side. It uses LR44, two LR44 batteries, positive facing up. So you take a screwdriver here, pop the old ones out, pop the new ones in, and I believe it runs for 7,500 hours. Ah, I have to look in the book. I can't remember offhand how long this will run. Um, now it might be 750 hours is what you'll get out of it. So I think that's similar to an EOTech, full, full on time. Uh, on, you click down. Off, you click back up. To change colors on the 77, it's a push button on top, so you just kind of click. That'll change your colors. Um, to adjust your reticle, it's uh, left and right is here, top, uh, up and down is on top. Um, this is actually your reticle, your, your LED emitter, and then there's a lens down in there that reflects it. 
So it's a pretty simple, pretty simple piece of kit. Um, it does have on the front here a ah, God, what's it called? Uh, automatic light sensor, I guess you would call it. So it detects the ambient light and adjusts the reticle accordingly. And I found it to be very good, even from shooting in the shade out to a bright scenario. Um, it wasn't too bad. It brightened up enough where I could see the reticle. And then adjusting between either red or blue, the blue reticle kind of helped a little bit as well. But that being said, let's go ahead and um, bring our AKM here in, run our, our rail onto our master mount. If I can do it without breaking everything. Come on, there we go. Run it in, click your mount closed, and I always push it forward to make sure that it's locked all the way in so the recoil doesn't move it. Um, I've already kind of sighted it in, but we'll see where it's at. Let's go load up some ammo. This is the AKM that you saw the video on where I, we put the KNS piston in. So we piston is in this. We're gonna load up a magazine with some cheap crappy ammo and see how it shoots. Let's go do it. All right, let's throw some ammo in this. Uh, it's gonna be hard to get you guys down the site, but we'll see what I can do. Um, just do some shooting with it first so you guys can see what it looks like on the gun. It shoots great, holds a good center of aim, and it's a huge field of view, that's the nice thing. Um, I'll see if I can get that on camera. It's really tough to get that shot, but let's throw some more ammo in and change angles. So that's what you see from the reticle's point of view. You can see how big, wide, open the uh, field of view is. That's the blue. And that's the red. Super, super nice, big, open field of view. So as you can see, my field of view is, I love EOTEX. This field of view is so open because all that there is is that little flap. So your your field of view is very, very wide open. Let's see, let's see if I can hit from here, hold on. There it is. Very, very nice, wide, wide open field of view on this thing. See that. Oh man, this is so hard to feel. I've, I've never shot a uh, an optic video. It's really hard to get the sight picture when you're not when you don't have your cheek on the gun. There you go. Here's your OKP 77. Really, really cool. If you guys are able to get your hands on one, I'd say do it. It's expensive. This was 450 shipped to the states. Uh, check his website. Send him an email. Um, get on the waiting list. It's one of those things. Get on if you really want it for your AK to make it authentic for my Russian AK. It was worth it. Go ahead, email them, put your money in, and then it's like a suppressor. Just forget about it. Buy it, wait on it, forget about it. it it'll show up one day at your door, and then you're going to be super excited. I hope you guys like this. This was tough to shoot, literally and metaphorically. Uh, if you guys do like this type of content, let me know. Like, share, subscribe. Uh, give me a thumbs up. YouTube doesn't ever monetize my content, so if you want to help, uh, help me get some more ammo, get new optics, get things to test out. There is a Patreon link in the description. You don't have to. I, I'm not. I'm not gonna hound anybody to do it. But if you want to, buck a month will help. Uh, put some ammo, give some food to to my hungry beasts, and uh, get it on camera for you guys. So, hope you guys like this. I will catch you guys next week on the next video. See ya.